and welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate open cv for flutter ios i have already made a video on flutter android so if you are interested you can watch that video so yeah let's get started as usual i have created a flutter project uh, then you will have to go to this uh, website called opencv.org slash releases uh, then you will have to click on this ios pack button once you click on it uh, it will download a zip file for you you will have to unzip it then you will have to go to the finder uh, go to your flutter project go to uh, ios folder and here from that you will have to open the xc workspace inside xcode i have already opened it uh, then i have written down some steps uh, over here which will help us uh, which will help me to integrate it because i don't remember these steps so uh, next what you'll have to do is once you open it so this is the unzip file uh, which i got from opencv i will just drag and drop it inside the runner part so i'll just drag and drop and make sure you have all this checkbox checked whatever i have click finish now uh, as you can see this open cv2 folder was created once uh, that is done uh, we'll have to create few files so uh, most of the open cv code for uh, ios is in c++ but we, we can bridge it using objective c++ we can't directly write the open cv code in swift um, yeah that's the drawback but we have the bridging header to uh, uh, you know call a swift co objective c++ code from swift and vice versa so i'll just create this header file first so uh, first new file okay click header next i'll just name it as like this and then i'll just copy paste this code i have already have the code with me so what we are trying to do is we will convert an rgb image to a grayscale image with the help of opencv so here this is like normal uh, ios part like importing foundation importing ui kit the only difference is here we are defining one method called grayscale to image now we'll have to uh, write the actual implementation of this method inside an objective c++ file with the help of opencv so here we will create one more file called open cv wrapper so create an objective c file for it first next click objective c give it some name uh, and click create next we'll have to change the extension manually from dot m to dot mm so this will make it objective c plus plus then i'll just copy paste this code now <laughs> to be honest with you like i have copy pasted this code from online i even i don't understand it fully basically what we are trying to do over here is that if you scroll down uh, we are using the method which we have defined it inside our header file then once we get the uh, rgb image we convert it to grayscale using this method and then return back this image and this is all the boilerplate code which we have to write uh, to uh, you know convert it to a uh, grayscale so this is like op open cv implementation which even i don't understand it really uh, okay next uh, we'll have to add this import to our bridging header so i'll just give this i'll go to our bridging header and i'll add this then uh, we'll have to create a prefix header file so i'll just right click new file search for p c h then click next give it uh, the default name click create then inside that we'll have to copy paste this bit of code so i'll just copy paste this we don't need this okay so from what i understand this prefix header is basically for communication between objective c plus plus and swift i could be wrong but this header file i think is basically used for communicating from objective c plus plus to swift uh, again i could be wrong but that is my understanding then you will have to go to build settings inside your target you will have to search for prefix header prefix header okay then go to apple c lang language make this as yes and over here inside prefix header we'll have to copy this so i'll show you we'll have to copy this part now here instead of my ios app you will have to write whatever is your project name so my project name is runner right so here you can see the project name is runner so i think this would be same for all flutter projects so i'll just do this uh, it is runner 
okay i'll click on this and if i go back over here inside general if i try to build this let's see if it is able to build it or not i was able to build it fine but uh, for building it you just have to do, do command b you don't need to really build it as well uh, you can directly run your application but uh, wait don't run the application yet because we have to write still a lot of code uh, to pick an image from our photos app so i will write the boilerplate code uh, as well but uh, while testing it you will have to test it on a real device uh, if you try to test it on a simulator it won't work because OpenCV, as far as i know does not run on ios simulator so that's an important step which you will have to remember okay guys so the next step which i have done done is that i have written all the boilerplate code for picking the image from the photos app as well as displaying it inside our uh, custom native view uh, widget and converting it to grayscale before displaying it so i'll show you uh, guys the code first so here you can see inside main dot dot i have refactored the my home page widget i have created a method channel for picking the uh, image as soon as the user picks the image we are sending the identifier for that image back to uh, the flutter side from native side so this variable will store it so here you can see for this text button we call this method called pick image uh, we get the identifier for it store this uh, to our, our variable then uh, if uh, this variable is empty then we are just displaying a size box otherwise we are displaying this custom widget called my image view and uh, we are passing that identifier to it and uh, i have assigned some width and height if you don't assign it uh, this custom widget view won't be able to display it so here inside my image view dot dart i have extended a stateful widget now same identifier you will have to use it on the native uh, ios side as well and uh, here i have just created a creation params of type text uh, widget dot text as well and uh, ignore the android one here you can just use the ui kit one if you uh, want to uh, like uh, suppose uh, a user can pick an image multiple times then you should definitely assign one key to this ui kit view otherwise if you pick the image for second third fourth time uh, the widget won't get updated so be careful with that. i have also made a video on how to do that as well so here i have just passing our identifier uh, layout direction creation params we are just passing our text which is the uh, image identifier for the picked image and here uh, we are just passing our standard message codec now you will have to again go back to xcode firstly inside info.plist you will have to add this photo library usage description permission uh, once you do that uh, here uh, you will have to create uh, one swift file called my image view native view factory like this is boilerplate code which you have to write whenever you want to create a native uh, ui view and embed it inside flutter side so just copy paste it the important part is we are referencing this my image view native view file so i'll come back to that so here i have created as you can see also make sure you update the ios deployment target to 14 uh, because we will be using that photo uh, picker from native ios side which only works from ios 14 and above and here i have created this file so it's again this is boilerplate code so i have written a ui view i'm initializing it okay and we are getting the text or the image identifier from the flutter side we are passing it to this method we are initializing our image view we are assigning some width and height to it uh, then we are converting this identifier to a url and with the help of this we are actually constructing an ui image out of it then uh, we are using this open cv wrapper which we have created so we created this method remember inside our objective c plus plus file we are calling that method and we are passing our ui image to it and it gives converts that image to grayscale and here we are just displaying it inside our image view then adding our image view to our uh, main view then you will have to go to app delegate import photos and photos ui extend php curve view controller delegate and here we have created a flutter result as well as a flutter view controller and uh, here this is again boilerplate code uh, whenever you want to register a view but you will have to use same identifier which we have used it on the flutter dart side here we are creating our controller and again the method channel name uh, should be same what we have created on the flutter dart side and if the method is equal to pick image then we are asking for 
photo library permission if that is given we call pic photo otherwise we are requesting for permission and if it is denied we are just uh, sending this result back and if pick photo once pick photo is called we just launch php curve configuration selection limit is one filter by images so only images would be displayed to the user and here we are launching our php curve view controller and once uh, the user sees this and user picks an image this method gets called firstly we are dismissing our php curve controller we are getting the first image uh, whatever the user has selected uh, once we get the ui image we uh, use this handle selected image because we want to convert it to an identifier so that we can't directly pass a ui image from uh, native ios side to flutter side we have to convert it to string or an identifier so th for that we are using this handle selected image so i'm saving it to a temporary directory uh, so from that we are actually getting the image url and we are resending that image url back to flutter cell or identifier whatever i was calling it so once this we are get this identifier then we are if you remember we were initializing this part so this part then here from this we are sending that identifier or url back to native ios side so let me show you guys the output so that's it for the code so here is uh, i have this uh, my uh, real device open and if I click, so I have this button called pick photo. If I click on it, I have already given the permission because I have already tested it once. And if I select one image, here you can see the image was converted to grayscale. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.